Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I am back in the Dollar Tree, so you know what that means. Let's go shopping. Right up front, they have some sequins mermaid style pillows. So it looks like turquoise and purple, the turquoise and silver. They've got a pink and silver combo, and then the rainbow. Over near the front door, they have some more hair accessories for back to school, and they put out these little zipper pouches with little wristlets to them. And then over here, they've got this for your keychain, the zipper and an ID area. So over here, they've got an end cap of new Halloween items. They have some fun novelty glasses, and then some headband sets with a little tail of a deer. Over here, they have some wind up bunnies so this one has a pumpkin mask on looks like there's a little skeleton chick back there and then they've got one over here that's like a little ghost this is a whole new take on these hopping bunnies what's this one guys i don't know it's got on something orange down below they have some hanging decor so these are the black glitter kitties this one's all cats they have the googly eyes our neighbor puts those in the bushes and then they have the creepy cloth so I think just in cream so far a few little tablecloths the door covers and then some kitty putty and then they've got the witch's boots in tinsel in orange and in purple. They also have one of their vertical signs that I think I've seen in the last few years. Down here they've got some of their window clings starting to come out and some garland and skeletons. And then I just found a few tinsel gravestones. Over here they've got their skeleton garland. I think this is new. I don't think I've seen this in the last few years, little bones. These are so fun. You get 10 pairs of hands. Down here they've got a few more skeleton items. Skull and crossbone. And this guy's a little rat. Down here they've got a few tangled skeleton birds. So we'll leave them to peace. And then they've got the bat. And then a few of the skeletons. Some glow in the dark and some don't. They also have the skulls and the plastic hands. Over here they've got some of their wooden signs. So this is a sugar skull with the rose on top. Also comes in the top hat. They've got the mansion from last year back and a little toothy ghost. The witch with her cauldron. Over here they have a few press board signs in boo and eek. It's a pretty good size. And then down here, some text signs. They've got this one in a trick or treat. I love that text. And they also have a happy Halloween. Over here, they've got the little witch's feet in the cauldron with an area to put a little sign. They have a few pumpkins. So this one has the cutouts raised for the face portion. And then this one without the cutouts. And they've also got a really cute little owl. Down here they have some wooden standing pieces. So they've got the skull and the ghost, the mansion, and the jack-o'-lantern. They have a few really cool stencils, thankful and blessed. And then it comes with this one on the back side. They've also got this one in Home Sweet Haunted Home. The back side of that one is a few different images. And then they have these felt craft pieces. So this one is the witch. They also have a really cute little cat. In the back, there's a sugar skull, and then they have the jack-o'-lantern. Over here, they've got some wooden pieces and the ghosts. The cats are really cute. And down here, they have a witch's hat and a color your own piece. They've got the little ceramic pieces, so the witch and a jack-o'-lantern. Down here, they've got a vampire and also a little Frankenstein. They're also putting out some cute little DIY paint sets. Down here, they have a few bows out for Halloween. And then these really cute brooms. You get 
three in the pack. I believe there's different colors. Some purple in the back. I got some purple and black wreath hangers for Halloween. And over here on an end cap, I found the skulls. These are great little vase fillers. They also have these 16 count mini ornaments for Halloween in the purples and in the multi-pack with orange, black, and purple. So they've brought back their felt placemats. They call them felt decor in the pumpkin, in the brown owl, massive leaf, and down here in the brown acorn. They've got all kinds of round glittery vase filler in the orange and green, down here in the gold and red. That'd be great during the holidays. The bottom, it is in gold and brown. They've got some orange pumpkin picks in a four count. Now these definitely look more Halloween. They have a little bit of black speckle to them. They've put out their felt stickers. So they've got some with some witches hats, some owls in orange and black. This one that is so cute with the bats, the ghosts, and the jack-o'-lanterns. Over here they have more picks in the styrofoam white pumpkins and these with jack-o'-lantern faces on them. They also have a multi-pack of the bats. Down here they have all kinds of new little sun catcher paint kits. They also have some sunflowers in here and some scarecrows, a little happy Thanksgiving with a turkey, and some fall leaves. So I did just spot this in the metallic. That's new this year. They have some mesh out and I believe I saw some when I came in in candy corn print. So last time we were here, they had just put out the ribbon. They've also got some mesh tubing out now, and it comes in burlap. I really like that. Also the red, brown, orange, and green. They have some wreath forms and some wreath hangers in the orange and brown. Down here, they're starting to put out some burlap leaves in orange in maple leaves. And what is the other kind, you guys? Because I know this one is a maple leaf. They also have some wood cutouts in the leaf, turkey, owl, and the pumpkins. Looks like you get five in a pack. They have the little strips of three clip-on pumpkins. Now they normally have these in cream as well, so far just orange here. And then down here they have the metal words and it comes in thankful, harvest, and welcome. You get all three for a dollar. They've got their glitter pumpkin picks out in the larger size that you get four of, and then a medium for five, and then you get 10 small ones. They've got more ribbon down below. I showed you guys in the last shop with me. They have the little scarecrow picks in a few different colors. They're doing a little bit of blue this year. That's nice. And then these mini decor pumpkins. So these are orange. They're just on a little card with wires out of the back. They also have them in cream. And then they have some clip-on maple leaves that are all glittery. Down here they have some decorative bows for fall in the leaves, pumpkins, and plaid and check. I really like this one. And then they're putting out their little craft bottles which normally have silver lids but I just spotted these and they have a copper lid. Up here they have the wooden cutouts. So they've got a acorn, an owl, a turkey, and the pumpkin. These are great for putting like a little votive on the inside. Down here, a lot of the spiders are out for Halloween in orange glitter. They have them in brown and black velvet, as well as purple glitter. And then they've got, I think that's a centipede. No, is it two spiders? It's just two spiders, so you can put them together. And then some glittery miniature pumpkins in purple and orange. And I think these are new this year. These are decorative filler. These are little white skulls. They're in glitter. You get 12. They also come in silver. Down here they have their rolls of mesh and this year they've got a little bit of a candy corn stripe going on over here 
and then the orange, white, and black, and this one with the purple. Up here they have the four-piece glittery pumpkins with black polka dots in the orange, and then they have some in purple that have some gold stripes on them. And the little witch's hats are back, so this is a three count. You get a purple, orange, and green. They've got the six piece spider sets out in a few different glitter versions. Down here they've got these little spiders. I remember these from last year. So the body is tinsel and then the legs are plastic. They've also put out some Halloween ribbon. They have the one inch glitter in orange, purple, and black. Down here they've got all of their prints. Love that Harlequin in orange. And they also did buffalo plaid for Halloween. And they are wired ribbons. So the buffalo plaid actually has a black wire. It's a little bit different than the one that they put out for fall. Down here they have the mesh tube in green, purple, and orange, as well as black. And then the clip-on glittered bats in four count in the purple and black. They have the little plastic bats down here. And then the door hanging witch's boots are back and they come in the green, purple, and orange. So they have some tinsel pipe cleaners in purple, orange, and black. And then some of the little paintable sets. So they've got the gravestone and the pumpkin. It's really cute. Down here a little trick or treat sign. That'd be great for decor. The sugar skull. Another trick-or-treat sign and then the larger sugar skull. So this is really interesting. They put out some Halloween paints. So these are all washable in brighter colors. And then they have this flap that is white, orange, and black. So over here on an end cap, they've put out more of their mesh in purple, orange, and black. They have all of their wreath forms in the small and large, round, and the square. And down here, they've got all kinds of Halloween floral, some with a few eyeballs in them. So the velvety pumpkins are almost gone and they put out more we'll look at over here. So this whole little end cap is new and these signs are so cute. So a couple years back, I did a DIY that looked just like this on one of their vertical signs. So now they've got two options. Those are great little finds. They have the little burlap door hangers, green, orange, down here in the brown and burgundy. They've put out their maple leaf bowls that we see each year. And I think these are new. I don't know that we've had brooms in the years past. They brought these back from last year that are so cute little hanging scarecrows in blue and in burgundy. Down here they've got the little owls and then they've put out some tins. I think in the last few years they've had three versions so at this store they have the owl and the scarecrow and now the standing scarecrows. So I'm finding a few different versions this year for both harvest and Halloween and I'm in love with the buffalo plaid outfit on this little guy on the end. Right next to that, they have a box full of the garden stake style of scarecrows. And this guy's really cute. I like the orange and yellow. Also comes in the green and burgundy. So over here in floral, there's a couple of things that are new. So they always do their fall leaves, but I thought these were so different. They're kind of like a muted mustard, creamy. Oh, they're just so pretty. Really like those and I know I say this every year but you have to check out their Halloween cards some of them could be easily framed or used for DIYs some of them are just adorable this one is so cute they also have a bunch for Thanksgiving out I think this one in the houses is so cute an entire section already out these are definitely three of my favorites I think those pumpkins are so cute this could be a sign, you could frame that easily. And then I really like the black cat. Here are a few of the really prettiest Halloween cards that they have to offer in owls, cats, and pumpkins. Over on this end cap, they have more of the wire wreath forms. They've got the pumpkin, and down below the witch's hat, 
more mesh and lots of different wreaths in different sizes to choose from. On this aisle, I am spotting these, which I've seen the larger version, but not these. These are smaller birch branches, a couple different thicknesses, and then there's a few things in automotive I wanna show you guys. Over here in the tool section, there's a few more things I wanna show you guys. They have the extra large carabiners, which are just so handy. I know that once upon a time, I used them on my stroller, no longer the case. And then they also have some levels that are a great little buy. It's a good size. And then down here, if you guys saw my latest DIY, this is what I used. It's the Lightweight Spackling by Toolbench. Next to the spackles, I just spotted these. They're perfect for patching up any walls and they come in three different sizes. So this end cap is all Disney bath accessories. They have the fizzies and then they have the soap snowflakes. These would be perfect to set aside for Christmas, to put in stockings. Down below, they have all of the bath bombs. So over here on an end cap, they have a ton of books to choose from. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through so you guys can see some of the titles. I know that books are definitely on a lot of people's bucket list for Dollar Tree. You can find so many very expensive copies of books you've been looking for or didn't even know you were looking for until you found them at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. So over on their aisle with all their frames, they have a few stickers I wanna show you guys that I have not found. And I thought this one is perfect. This is something I had thought about ordering maybe on Etsy. This one is also really different, nice. Haven't seen that one. They also have these butterflies that I think are so pretty. I love those colors. And then I just found this one, and I think that is really nice. Laundry room, drop your drawers here. They also have this one with the gold lips. It would be great for some DIYs. And then these, and I'm, these are called poster stickers. I'm not sure how you would use that, maybe more like a wallpaper or something. They have them in a couple different prints. We've also got these two wall stickers that I thought were really cute. I haven't seen this one in the cameras before. And then they've got this one in the iridescent, I'm really a mermaid. They've also got these little ceramic squares, little pieces of decor, and they've got a very Ray Dunn look if you ask me. They've also got these little box signs with little acrylic fronts, finding them in four different versions. They've also got these little box signs in the pet versions. Now, I don't know if there's another cat one, but I found one in a pink backing and these two with the little paw prints. I think they're so cute. And this that I think is going to be very popular. It's just a little perpetual calendar. Now I'm over on the stationary aisle and they have some customizable planners I want to show you guys. So these are the inserts and they come in a few different versions this one in the floral we've also got it in a stripe they do say 2020 on them and they've also got the polka dot that goes really well with the actual planners that have little releasable clips on them and that one also comes in a few different prints so I want to show you guys a little bit better the polka dot inserts and then these are their extra sheets so this is just like a ruled paper We've also got this in the calendars that you can fill in and this one that's kind of like a weekly planner and down here they've got some stencils so they've got the turquoise and the pink that go with this collection. They also have these little small discs and they're the same packaging so I'm not sure how you would use those. Over here on this end cap, they have some wet and wild mega cushion foundation. It says that it's a liquid foundation. They do have quite a few colors to choose from and it has 15 SPF. 
over here on the snack aisle, I just spotted a name brand. They have the Planters Cheese Balls. It's a 2.75 ounce container. Down here they have a few more mugs I want to show you guys. These are black and burgundy. I love the ridges on these. They are white on the inside. Over here on the dish aisle, I just spotted some new soup mugs. Enjoy life. It's delicious. These are really good size. They're also putting out these new little bowls. I think these would be great for some faux food DIYs, which I'm always thinking about if you guys saw my last video, but they come in red and white. They have a little impulse area right by the registers, and I wanted to show you guys these signs. Now, our last Dollar Tree shopping, we saw some different ones. So this store has the cat, and a unicorn and then a really cute sloth on a rainbow and I just spotted these out of the corner of my eye desktop ping pong over here on the end cap they have a few of the character bags for shopping lots of princesses some fancy Nancy they have the Marvel and some trolls and then back here They've got Black Widow and this one in the Star Wars. Up near the registers, they put out some novelty pins that are silver and gold with pearls on top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick trip into the Dollar Tree to see what else has come out for fall. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.